No shade, but I do not like those DIY giant Easter baskets that use a plastic laundry hamper or a baby pool. So I wanted to see if I could make one that looked a little bit more realistic and cute. I'm starting with this big basket that I got for a really good deal at Ross and I'm making my own giant handle using a hula hoop from Dollar Tree and this wood grain paper that I found at Hobby Lobby. It's just one of those big rolls of paper that teachers use to make like bulletin boards and stuff. And I'm twisting it up and wrapping it around to kind of give that basket weave effect. I use zip ties to attach it. That way it's really easy to detach and still use this basket as home decor or storage afterwards. I wanted to make the classic Easter basket crinkle paper, but on a larger scale to go with the big basket. I didn't want to make so much of it though. So I took up some space by putting some pillows inside and then put my giant crinkle paper on top. To make the basket a little bit more festive, I'm using this roll of like ribbon stuff to make a big bow. It wouldn't be me if I didn't include my Cricut somehow. So I'm going to be using it to make a custom banner to put my daughter's name on it. And I'm going to match it to the colors of the bow. So everything goes together. I want to stick to the oversized theme for everything that I'm filling it with. So stay tuned to see my ideas for that in part two. 